Westchester taxes versus Bronx taxes. Today we'll learn just how much taxes can impact your home purchase. Welcome home. My name is Justin. If you're a first time viewer and you want to receive weekly home selling and buying tips, be sure to slam that subscribe button and the bell next to it so you don't miss anything. With that being said, we will compare purchasing a home in the Bronx versus one in Westchester with our mortgage calculator to see the effect that property taxes can have on our bottom line. Here is our mortgage calculator. We will put in the information for our Bronx home first, which we are assuming is a two family. Our home value will be $650,000. We are putting down 20% to avoid mortgage insurance. Here you can see the total amount in principle we will be borrowing over the life of the loan. Interest rates are currently very low. We will drop this to 3.5%, although you may actually qualify for a lower rate right now. A loan term of 30 years is completely fine. Now the New York City property tax rate is actually very low for the state. In this instance, we'll say our taxes are $5,000 a year. Again, we don't have any mortgage insurance to worry about. And uh, let us know what you think about the difference in property taxes between Westchester and the Bronx down in the comments below and if it's justified in your opinion. I'll raise our homeowner's insurance just a bit, $1,500. Right? And we can see our monthly payment here, $2,876.70. One of the main reasons I use this calculator on my website is that it provides a lot of detail, including this great percentages-based breakdown of our expenses. Here we can see our monthly total in taxes is $416.67, and that taxes are making up about 13% of our monthly expenses. Now, as a bonus, if you want a breakdown of how your loan will be repaid over the 30 years, you can click show amortization table and scroll through the numbers. If you like what you're hearing so far, please be sure to slam that like button for us. On to our Westchester home. This is another two family. The Westchester County tax rate is on the high, high end in New York State, which can translates into Westchester property taxes being a lot higher than Bronx taxes. Our taxes for this example will be $17,000 or $12,000 more per year than for our Bronx home. Let's change the price now to $450,000. That's a $200,000 price difference, and we'll see what we come up with. Even with the $200,000 drop in price, our Westchester home still is going to cost us more on a monthly basis than our Bronx home, and this is because of property taxes. If you're trying to figure out how do property taxes work when you buy a house, the key thing to know is that they have a huge effect on how much house you can actually afford. If you are considering buying a house and looking between the Bronx and Westchester, be sure that your lender gives you a pre-approval for each area. That is key. For a few ideas on how to get more money for your purchase to make the property tax bill a bit more palatable, especially if you're looking at those Westchester taxes, you can check out my video here for unique down payment ideas and programs. Also, if you know someone that would benefit from this video on property taxes, please be sure to share it with them. Thanks again and I'll see you next week.